Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Ming. And welcome to Skip the Rule Books Christmas Countdown. We're counting down our favourite games to play with our friends and family during the Christmas holidays so you can spend more time gaming and less time doing that tedious role reading. Today we're puzzling, sculpting and performing our way to Cranium Central. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. Let's skip the rule book. I'm going to need this. Once inside the box, the first thing you'll find is the game board, which keeps track of your team's race to victory with all the stumbling blocks along the way. Each team will also choose from one of four characters, along with appropriately cool hats and hairdos, to represent you during the game. Next are four cardboard boxes labelled Creative Cat, Star Performer, Word Worm and Data Head, which contain all the challenges that your team will face. The die is used to determine your team's movements around the board, and the pads of paper, pencils, cranium clay and timer will all be essential during your team tasks. To play Cranium you'll need to divide into teams of at least two players and the game can be played with anywhere between two and four teams so tonight we're joined by Brian and Hazel. Start by unfolding the game board in the centre of the play area. Then place the boxes of challenges next to the game board where they can be reached by all players, along with the timer, the dice and the clay. Each team chooses a character and a hairdo before placing them on the starting planet cranium. Each team should also take a pad of paper and a pencil and then we're good to go. The starting team is the team with the player whose birthday is coming up next. As Ming's birthday is next, we're going to get to go first. On each team's first turn, and whenever you occupy a planet cranium space, you get to choose which of the four boxes that you'd like to draw a challenge from. Once you've chosen, the team to the right will then draw a card from that box and read it aloud. You must then follow the instructions. We're going to start with the word worm. Team Glilips. To win this Team Glilips, your team must work together to spell the word below backwards on the first try without writing it down. All players on your team will take alternating turns, adding one letter at a time to spell the word in reverse. I'll read the word aloud, then start the timer. The word is Amphibian. Once your team is ready, the team to your right will start the timer. We've then got to the time runs out to complete the challenge. N. A. I B I H P M A As we successfully completed the task, the card is discarded to the back of the box and we get to roll the die and move to the next colour indicated on the die. You must stop at the next planet cranium, even if the colour you rolled would take you past it. If you roll purple, jump straight to the next planet cranium. I've rolled blue. At the start, and at every planet cranium, you have the chance to get on the fast track, which takes you towards Cranium Central faster. If you successfully complete the first task that you tackle on planet cranium, you can choose to take the fast track. Otherwise, you must take the longer, albeit more scenic, route. Now it's our turn. Uh, I think we should choose Star Performer. To win this humdinger, Choose a player from your team who can get you to guess the song on the back of this card by humming or whistling with no lyrics or gestures. I'll pass the card to the performer, then start the timer. I think I should choose this one. <laughs> and go! Time! Stop. Unfortunately, due to Brian's terrible musical skills, we have failed to complete the task, um, which means that we don't get to roll the dice and we have to stay where we are and wait until next time. Now it's back to us. We're on a blue space, so we have to do Creative Cat this turn. Okay, this is a Sculptor Arts. 
Um, to win this sculpt rod, choose an artist from your team who can get you to guess the answer on the back of this card by sculpting the subject in cranium clay with no talking or gestures. I'll read the hint aloud, pass the card to the artist, then start the timer. And the hint is, it's a thing. Paul is much better with his hands, so he's going to be the sculptor and I will try to guess the answer. Lollipop, eyeball, bone, hand, zombie, cat, elephant, dog, lasso. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We've completed the task, so we get to roll the die now to determine how far we move. I've rolled a red, but unfortunately we can't move past the next planet cranium, so we have to stop here for now. We need to get ourselves back in this game. As we're still on the start planet cranium, we get to choose our challenge. I think we should go for day ahead. Okay. To win this factoid, your team must correctly answer the question below. I'll read the question aloud, pass the card to you, and then start the timer. According to Arthurian legend, what is the name of King Arthur's sword? Excalibur. Okay. We finally managed to get the starting block and roll to see how far we go. Uh, as we failed our first challenge, we now have to go on the slow outside track. As we're on Planet Cranium, we get to choose which box to take a challenge from. Since we were successful last turn, I think we should go for Creative Cat again. Okay, this one's a Cloodle. Everyone plays this club Cranium Cloodle. Choose one artist from each team to draw clues on paper with no talking letters or symbols. The first team to guess the answer wins an immediate bonus roll. If this card was drawn on your turn, you get another card after the winner's bonus roll. The card that has been drawn is the Club Cranium symbol in the bottom left corner. This means that the game pauses and all teams immediately compete to gain a bonus roll. The first team to get the right answer before the time runs out gets an immediate roll of the die. Uh, the hint for this is TV show. Come on. Bowl. Cup. Soup. Tea. Oh, ladder. Soup. Road. Ladder. Snakes and ladders. Cups and ladders. Cash in the attic. Um, uh, top, Jesus? top gear? Um, no. Hairy Jesus. Um, 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 cutlery. Road. Antiques Roadshow. Oh. Yes. As the other team won the Club Cranium task, they now get to roll the die and move. They're hot on our heels, but all is not lost yet. We still get to do our normal turn and move on to the fast track if we complete the task. <laughs> In order to win, your team must be the first to successfully complete one challenge from each box in the Cranium Circle, and must then also complete one final activity in Cranium Central. You can enter the Cranium Circle on a roll at the end of your turn. We have just successfully completed a creative cat task, and can roll the die. We can move to Data Head ready for our next turn. If I'd rolled purple, we could have chosen our starting position. When you successfully complete a task in the Cranium Circle, you then keep the card and move clockwise to the next category ready for your next turn. If you are unsuccessful, you stay put and try again next time. Club Cranium cards also count if you're inside the Cranium Circle. If you're in the Club Cranium, keep it if it's one you need. If it matches the category you're on, move clockwise onto the next category. Once you have one card from each box, you may move into Cranium Central. On your next turn, the other teams get to choose the box for your final activity. If you're unsuccessful, you must wait until your next turn. The first team to successfully complete an activity in Cranium Central wins the game. That's it from us at Skip the Rule Book. If you enjoyed this video, please press like.
If you want to hear more from Skip the Rulebook, press subscribe. You can also find out more about us on Facebook, Twitter, and skiptherulebook.com. Join us tomorrow to continue the countdown of our favourite holiday games. See you later. This is for you. You can spend more time gaming and less... You? <laughs> you? Boxes, you move, move, man. Move. <laughs> yeah, man, move. Time to play yeah. In the chat, in the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> When you successfully complete a task, when you successfully complete. <laughs> 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 if you win the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. it's really <laughs>